Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the details about linear induction motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic linear induction motor. A linear induction motor is a special type of induction motor that gives linear motion. Moving in a linear manner. Normally instead of rotational motion motor or normally it is rotates but this linear induction motor moves in a linear motion as in the case of conventional motor so instead of rotational we have linear motion in case of linear induction motor the movement of the field and movement of the conductors are linear that's the name itself it is a linear induction motor so that's a moving of a field as well as moving of a conductor also linear now we will see the construction of and working of a linear induction motor. A linear induction motor consists of three phase distributed field winding placed in the slots. Normally we are placing the winding in a slot. Here also we are having three phase distributed winding placed in the slot. So this is a three phase winding. These are all the slots. In these slots the coils are placed. So that is called a primary winding. And the secondary winding is nothing but a conducting plate made up of either copper or aluminium. So this coil placed in a slots are called as a primary winding. The secondary winding is nothing but a conducting plate made up of copper or aluminium. This, this conductor will move. This conductor will move in linear manner either forward or reverse direction. So we have primary three phase primary winding and secondary winding primary winding made up of the coils placed in the slots secondary winding is made up of conducting plate is made up of copper or aluminium now we'll see the types of field winding field system single primary system double primary system now we'll see one by one what is meant by single primary system so a single primary system of a linear induction motor, a ferromagnetic plate is placed on the other side of the copper plate and it is necessary to provide a low reluctance path and for the magnetic flux. So the name itself single primary system means only one primary winding is three phase primary winding is placed in the one, one side. So automatically the next method double primary system means this three phase winding is available on both the side of the conductor both the side of the secondary winding now it is only one side so that is the made up of so that conductor is made up of ferromagnetic plate that is placed on the other side of the copper plate to provide already the copper plate is available in addition to that ferromagnetic plate also available in order to provide the role reluctance path for the magnetic flux now refer the diagram so it is easier so this is the primary winding, three phase primary winding, the coils are placed in the slots. As the name single primary system, only one primary winding is available. Double system means one more primary winding will be placed on the other side. So this is the secondary winding, That's, that is nothing but secondary winding is nothing but conducting plate made up of copper or aluminium. In addition, we have ferromagnetic plate that will provide the low reluctance path for the magnetic flux. Right. So only one primary winding made up of copper coil placed in the slots then conducting plate made up of copper or aluminium to provide the road electron spot we have ferromagnetic plate. Now we will see the details. When the primary winding is excited by the three phase AC supply then according to principle of mutual inductance the induced currents are flowing through the secondary and ferromagnetic plate so when the supply is given in the three phase primary winding what happened because of mutual inductance the current is induced in both secondary winding that is copper that is a copper plate as well as ferromagnetic plate so based on the induced emf the force will be created and and it will start moving forward or reverse direction that we'll see later how it is how the uh, motion is created just now we discuss how the induced emf is created here further working we will see later 
the main drawback of the single primary system is that ferromagnetic plate is energized and attracted towards the primary winding causes the unequal air gap between primary and secondary winding so the three phase winding is placed only in one only one side and other side we have ferromagnetic plate so this ferromagnetic plate is got attracted towards the primary winding because when the uh, supply is given induced emf is created so it is attracted so the air gap will be ununiform between the primary and secondary winding so to avoid this to overcome this drawback we can go for a next method double primary system that is primary winding is placed on both the side of both the side of the conducting plate and ferromagnetic plate so that the attraction and repulsion will be uniform so that will get uniform air gap right so now we will see double primary system so the drawback of single primary system that unequal air gap between primary and secondary is eliminated in the double primary system the two primary windings are placed on both the side of the secondary winding so now we'll see the diagram so we have three phase primary winding on both the side of the secondary winding the secondary winding is copper plate so now the attraction repulsion will happen on both the side so that the, there is a uniform air gap between the primary and secondary winding what is the drawback is eliminated by placing the primary winding on both the side so when three phase primary winding is excited by giving the three phase ac supply a magnetic field is developed which rotates at the synchronous linear speed right so when the supply is given magnetic field is developed so the the pl copper plate will start rotate in a linear speed linear means it is in a linear motion so that linear speed is vs is given by 2 tau f meter per second so it is a meter normally it is revolution per minute in our conventional motor rotation because of rotational motion now it is linear so meter per second what is tau pole pitch in meters what is the pole pitch so this is the, by referring the diagram this is a pole pitch the distance between the every coil is called a pole pitch then f frequency of the supply frequency in hertz right so this vs is purely based on frequency and pole pitch frequency is almost constant so it is based on the pole pitch in meter right now we'll see the working principle how the rotate how the linear motion is created either in single primary or double primary system we'll see the working principle now so now we'll see the working principle in both the case of single primary and double primary system the attraction and repulsion force between the coil in primary part and the magnet in the secondary part cause the primary to move and generate a linear force. So there is a repulsion and attraction force between primary and secondary winding. So that will be converted into linear force. The rate of change of current controls the velocity of the movement and the amperage of the current determines the force generated. So this velocity is controlled by the rate of change of current. So the linear speed Vs is given by 2 tau f that we already discussed. Tau is nothing but pole pitch frequency. F is the frequency. So from this equation we can go for the further analysis. From the above equation it can be seen that in the case of linear induction motor the synchronous speed is not the function of number of poles in the motor but depends upon the pole pitch and the supply frequency so the normally number of poles will determine the speed in conventional motor rotational motor that is one of the factor so number of poles but here number of poles is not not decided the synchronous speed is not depends upon the number of poles it is based on the pole pitch tau the pole pitch will decide one of the factor and supply frequency then the further details the flux developed by the field winding pulls the rotor in the direction of the magnetic field linearly 
which will reduce the relative speed between the magnetic field and the rotor plate. So the flux is produced, flux developed by the field winding that will pull the rotor in a linear manner so that it is rotating in linear so that it is moving in a linear manner. If the speed of the rotor plate and the speed of the magnetic flux be, both are become equal then the magnetic field will be stationary when it is viewed from the rotor plate. Both are equal mean it is a stationary it will not move. I will go for the further detail. If the speed of the rotor plate becomes greater than the speed of the magnetic field then the direction of the force would be reversed or which will result in regenerative braking. Right? So the speed of rotor plate is greater greater than the magnetic field means it will go in a reverse, reverse direction that become a regenerative braking. Now we will see the speed torque characteristics of this linear induction motor that is only tractive effect. What, how, how it will be, create the tractive effect. So the speed is in the x axis, torque in the y axis, see, speed is the speed is gradually increases. The torque is gradually increases and reaches maximum value and then become zero. So this is the speed torque characteristics. Then the tractive effect is given by Ft is given by Pr by Vs. We know that Vs is the linear speed. Pr is the actual power supplied to the rotor. So this is the nature of the speed torque characteristics. Now we will see the advantages and disadvantages applications. So advantages is simple construction. Construction is very simple. Maximum speed not limited due to centrifugal force. Normally in single phase induction motor the centrifugal force uh, switch is there in order to disconnect the starting winding but here is not available so the speed is not limited better power to power to weight ratio less initial and maintenance cost right so simple construction automatically we have less and less initial and maintenance cost what are the disadvantages require high cost for providing collector system because it is moving in a linear manner draw high current due to large air gap in case of single primary system, the air gap is non-uniform, so it will draw more current. Poor efficiency and less power factor. So because of this high current, automatically will the efficiency will reduce, also the power factor also reduces. What are the application? High speed rail traction, trawler, trolley cars, metallic belt conveyors to drive electromagnetic pump. These are all the applications. So in this video we will see construction and working of linear induction motor. That is two types. Sim single primary system, double primary system. We discuss the construction followed by the working. Then speed or characteristics, advantages, disadvantages and applications. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening. All the best for your examination.